morning. I am getting ready to get kids off to school. I've had a productive day so far. Right now I'm just by the oven because I just threw in some hash browns for breakfast. I packed lunches. I washed all of my dresses. So I let them dry like most of the way and then I'll hang them up. And then I'm gonna switch in my bedding, which I'm washing right now. I just stripped my bed this morning. I need to wash that and get that ready. And then after I drop the girls at school, I'm gonna go to my parents' house and help clean there just to kind of get it ready for the holidays and you know guests that are coming. So I'm just gonna bring over a couple things that I need to bring back to their house and kind of spend my morning there. And then we'll come back and do nap and quiet time here. I have some chicken thawing in the sink right now for dinner. I'm just gonna do a really easy uh, we call it cheesy chicken, so I can show you how I make that later. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head off to school. parents house I just helped to clean up like I said we did some decluttering so I have a few things to bring to a donation center at some point not today and the boys had second breakfast and played with my mom so that worked out really well as you can imagine I have a large family so they do a lot of entertaining so it just needed to kind of put away platters and things like that and of course they will all be brought out again very soon to be used again but i am happy to help in some small way by cleaning up so we're gonna head home and i'm gonna put you down for a nap luke will do quiet time i'm gonna have some brunch i haven't eaten yet and then yeah I'll see what i get up to during quiet time all right i'm just sitting down now to brunch this is kind of what i've been doing lately is i'll just have coffee in the morning and then have a bigger brunch around 11 or 12. So I have three eggs, some sauerkraut, half an avocado, and a small sweet potato with butter and salt. And it's delicious, and this definitely keeps me full until dinner, and I usually have an afternoon coffee. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this while Jude is napping, and then I'll move on with all the other things I need to do. That was seriously one of the most delicious sweet potatoes I've ever eaten. It was so sweet, it tasted like candy. It tasted almost like it had some sort of syrup or marshmallows or something on it but no just butter and salt so i'm just unloading the dishwasher here luke's helping to put away bikes that were they played with yesterday outside and finn is running around i'm going to grab my dresses i didn't get a chance to hang them before we left so i just re-ran the dryer i'm gonna grab those and hang them up switch over my bedding throw in a third load and then i need to make my bed These definitely got much drier than I was planning for them to be, but that's okay. At least they're wrinkle free because I basically don't iron anything. So I just run them in the dryer until they get all the wrinkles out. And my sheets are in the dryer now. So when those are done, I will make my bed. And actually, I have a whole stack of books that I just got from the library. So I thought I'd catch you up on what I've been reading or what I have planned to read since last I shared was pretty much October. So I can catch you up on what I've read and what I plan to read. So here's my little book stack. This is my November and December pile. 
The last book I read, I think, was The Wife Upstairs, which was a Rachel Hawkins book. And now I'm currently reading this Ruth Ware book. It's called The Death of Mrs. Westaway. I'm listening to it and reading it. And it's okay. The first half, I don't know, I wasn't that into. But it's getting better, so I'm excited to finish it out. And I've read quite a few Ruth Wares, and I do like her writing style. But the next one I have is The Drowning Woman. Someone left in a comment that they really recommended this one, that it was so good and they finished it really quickly by Robin Harding. So I'm going to, I don't know what order I'm going to read them all, but that's on my list. Then someone recommended The Big House, which is funny because this was written in 2003 and I had this on my to read list back when I first got married. So that was, you know, Oh, six. So it's funny that they recommended it and I never read it because I used to, I always enjoyed reading, but I never really made the time for it. So I would have this just ongoing list that I would never get to. So when she mentioned it again, it kind of, you know, sparked that memory that I did want to read that. And she said it was really good. So we'll see. Another commenter mentioned this book, A Homemade Life. It says stories and recipes from my kitchen table. So we'll see how that one is. The cover looks very cute and Christmassy. Then I have another Riley Sager. This is the only one left. And I got this one off a recommendation from Lydia Sen. I get a lot of book recommendations from her. Basically, whatever she liked, I want to read because she has good taste. If you don't follow Lydia, I'll link her down below. She's a hoot. And she has good taste in books. So that is my book stack for the next few weeks or months or so. We'll see how long it takes. So now that all those home keeping tasks are out of the way, I the main thing I wanted to do during this nap time is wrap stocking stuffers. So I'm gonna show you what I got for each of the kids and a few things for my husband. And then I do like to wrap them. I know it's an extra step and it's extra paper, but I just think it extends the fun of the morning and just gives them more excitement and things to open. So let me just kind of lay it out on my bed and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I have all their piles laid out on my bed. So for my husband, he has mostly edible things. So some of this chili lime seasoning, a little beef jerky stick. These are gummy eggs, which I saw in like a specialty store months ago and I tucked them away because he is obsessed with eggs but these are gummies which he loves gummies too and then some gum some a candy bar that's his favorite and then some of this hair clay like a hair product so that's his stocking and if you hear any chewing Finn is in here with me and then for the girls I had the idea back in September to get them magnets for their lockers because they were so excited to show me their lockers and I thought I filed that away and I thought it'd be a cute stocking stuffer idea. So I found these sets of Christian magnets and actually all of these came together so I just bought one pack and I divided them and then I also found these adorable little pig magnets and again it was a set of I think 10, 10 and it's the same five that are duplicated so they're each gonna get you know one of each of these adorable little pigs this is not the cutest little thing look at that sweet little face so super cute and then the girls both got very similar things i just kind of changed them slightly so they all got one of these little juice bottles some hair things colored pencils a beef stick a notebook these are some milk chocolate spoons like you drink milk out of it and then it has little beads in it that's supposed to flavor the milk so i thought those were kind of cool lots of consumables lots of things that they can eat or use and then it's not doesn't have to stay around in the house a little kinder joy duct tape they love it these little shower steamers that you can just put at the foot of the shower while you're taking a shower and they just smell nice it's kind of like a bath bomb but for a shower and then they all got a little baking kit and we do love to bake a lot and we bake from scratch most of the time but this is just something fun that they can just add a couple ingredients to and bake up some cookies 
So like I said, Evie's is pretty much the same, just she has some hair bands instead of clips. She has a peanut butter mix. And then this is some chapsticks. There's three in here, so I'm going to give the three older kids each one of these. And then for Luke, again, very similar tape. You know, he's getting bath bombs instead of shower steamers. And then these colored pencils and a notebook. And then Jude's is pretty small, but he's two. And I think he's going to absolutely love this little race car, like a little motorcycle race car. And then this little Hot Wheels motorcycle is gonna make his morning. And then I got these kind of chunky crayons for him. He uses regular crayons, but I just thought those were really sweet. So those are all of their stocking stuffers. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap them up as best I can. Things like this, if I had like a little baggie, like a little mesh bag would be ideal. So maybe I'll have to see what I can do to wrap those because they'll poke through paper. But everything else should be pretty easy to wrap and hide away. And I just have kind of like the little end pieces of when I wrapped their gifts. So any thing like this I save because then I can wrap it, you know, use it to wrap these, bless you, um, you know, the small items. And then I have a roll and then I just write their names on it. I don't do stickers to label everything. I just write it with a Sharpie and it makes it really easy. So while I wrap, I'm going to, I don't know, watch something Christmassy, maybe someone's YouTube video. And hopefully I can get this done in less than an hour. So I'm gonna time myself and I'll tell you how long it takes me. That took me about 30, 35 minutes. So not too bad. Got to listen to a podcast and now that is all done. So I'm gonna put it in one of these reusable bags I have back here. This one probably, well, I don't know. We'll see if it all fits in there. If not, I'll have to find another bag, but I used up a whole roll of wrapping paper and then I started in on this one, which there's still a little bit left on that. So I'm really glad that that is done. Just feels so good to check these things off. All right, so I put all that away in the basement with the other Christmas things and pulled up my sheets, but we have to leave in just a minute to go do school pickup, so I'll do that when we get back. All right, so we are back from school and I had these magazines in my car because I took them from my mom's house. She subscribes to a few different magazines, mostly for our benefit because when the girls go there, we like to look at magazines. So I have some real symbols, some Southern living, and I thought my kids might want to do like collages with them because I remember doing that when I was little and there's also good recipes in there too. But the girls are making hot chocolate. I'm brewing myself a cup of coffee right now. It's 3.30 and it's raining and it's very dark and gloomy outside. And so we're just gonna have a nice little warm afternoon beverage. Can you do it, buddy? Can you make it move? Oh. oh, can you go backwards? Can you make it go backwards? Good job, uh-oh. It went under. I hear, oh, there it is. Go get it. You found it. There it is. How's it taste? All right, so it's almost five o'clock now. I'm about to get dinner in the oven. I just preheated it to 425 and I'm going to cook that chicken that I had thawed this morning. And I just put a little olive oil, salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, very simple. And I bake that for, the oven's ready, for about 30 minutes. And then I just put some heavy cream and some shredded cheddar cheese and let that finish baking for like another five minutes. And that's it. That's cheesy chicken, it's so good. I'm also going to roast some broccoli along with it, which the chicken and the cream sauce makes a really delicious thing to drizzle on the broccoli. So I like doing that together. And then I had roasted sweet potatoes, just whole potatoes. So that's why I had one for lunch today, but I'll serve to the kids and Dan a potato today with their dinner. So I'm gonna get all that going in the oven and just do some tidying. We have to go out tonight. My girls have an American Heritage Girls meeting tonight and it's an award ceremony. So they're looking forward to that. So we gotta eat dinner a little bit earlier so we can head out. So it is still pouring. I don't know if you can hear that. 
I just dropped the girls off at their meeting. We were a little bit late. Dan was stuck in some traffic. There was an accident on his drive home. So thankfully, you know, he made it home safely, but we were like 15 minutes late, but I had a good conversation with the girls about, you know, you never know what the Lord is protecting you from when things seem to not go your way. You never know, you know, maybe you, we were able to avoid something because we were late. So, you know, it all worked out. But now I'm gonna actually run into Walgreens. There's just a couple things I wanna pick up. I want to get some shampoo and some dry shampoo and my mascara that I got actually with you guys back in Vlogtober, so only last month. I'm really not happy with it and I feel like it kind of smudges and gets under my eyes and I am not happy with that. So. As much as it pains me to have spent money on something and then not use it, I don't want to keep wearing it. So I'm going to look for something else and just you know, browse around a little bit and kind of use up some of this time. I'll probably also come back in my car and just like get some things done on my phone that I can. Just looking some things up and you know planning out some things. So I can do that in my car. That's no big deal. Alright, so I just grabbed a few things. Like I said, dry shampoo and we needed mouthwash. There, Honestly, this was a pretty small Walgreens and there wasn't a ton of selection. So like, I really wanted a clarifying shampoo, but this was kind of the closest that I could get. I like to rotate my shampoos, so that's okay. It'll be fine. And then this is the mascara I wound up going with. I've used this one before, this brand, the, uh, what's it called, Lash Sensational. Um, but I got the waterproof because I think that'll help with the smudging and then some tooth flossers and then I just got a sparkling water and diapers and wipes are down there. All right, we are back home and it's like quarter of nine and I'm finally going to make my bed. I just have my sheets just piled here on my bed. So I'm going to go ahead and make it and then hop in the shower and sit down and read my book. The death of Mrs. Westaway and hopefully get some more done on that and that's gonna be it for this vlog. I'll show you my bed all finished up but I think I'm just going to end it here. Thanks so much for watching. Hope your Christmas season is moving along beautifully and you're getting things done and enjoying the season. I definitely you know have been feeling very on top of things this year because I started so early and it's yeah it's just nice to kind of enjoy each step of the process and you know be able to check some things off so thanks so much for watching guys i'll be talking to you soon take care